Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are back today to talk about eyeshadow palettes. We are doing the eyeshadow wardrobe tag. This is a really fun video started by Morgan Turner and Charlotte Holdcroft here on YouTube. And I, of course, am not one to pass up on a good eyeshadow palette tag. So we are doing it today. Thank you to those of you that tagged me on this video on Instagram. Should be a lot of fun. And I think you guys might be surprised by some of my answers because there are a lot of palettes, a lot of favorite palettes of mine that did not make it into this video. We'll get into it as the video goes along. A special welcome to those of you that are new to my channel. Hope that you enjoy this one. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe before you leave. And with that said, let's dig right into my bin. So, so this tag video is all about the eyeshadows that you would pick for certain occasions in your life or certain events in your life. And the very first one is for a wedding. I've been married for a really long time, almost 20 years to be exact. So it's been a long time since my wedding. But when I got married, I wasn't actually into makeup back then. So if I could do it all again, if I was in my early 20s again, I would go with this one right here. This is the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. I know this is a very new palette, but this palette I've really been enjoying over the last couple weeks. It screams wedding to me. Like it's such a good, soft, cool tone palette. There are a lot of taupes and rose golds and soft pinks and grays in here that I think are perfect for any type of wedding makeup that you would ever do. It's very neutral, but you get a lot of sparkle, a lot of glam in this palette. A really beautiful, fun palette that I've been enjoying. And I just think this gives you that classic, soft, but smoky kind of bridal look that I think looks looks good on anyone. I would love reaching for this palette on my wedding day. It is Natasha Denona, so I would feel very special and fancy, and you should feel special and fancy on your wedding day. If there was ever a time that I would say go for it, splurge on something for yourself, it would be on your wedding day. Had I done this video before I owned the Glam palette, I probably would have picked the Sultry palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, but you guys, I'm really falling in love with this palette. It really is amazing. Next up is the eyeshadow palette I would pick for a date night. For this one, I ended up picking the Enduring Love palette from Sydney Grace. This palette is perfect perfect for a date night. It gives you like perfect kind of feminine but not over the top shades. You get some smoky shades in here if you want to do something a little bit more smoky. These metallics are out of this world. I mean they cannot be beat in my opinion and I do love a really reflective, intensely reflective lid and these are perfect for that. I absolutely love them. This is a very glamorous palette and one interesting thing I wanted to know and this could possibly be a coincidence but because it's happened a few times I kind of think not. My husband doesn't comment super often on my makeup but there have been several times when I have been wearing this palette or my other Sydney Gray shadows that my husband has specifically gone out of his way to say how nice my makeup looks and that like when your husband says something like that to you especially if it's out of the norm you pay attention. So for that reason this would be my pick for a date night palette. You really can't ever go wrong with Sydney Grace eyeshadows. They are phenomenal. They've been getting a lot of love from me on my channel over the last several months and for very good reason I think they're absolutely worth the hype that they get. In fact I think they're worth more hype than they get. Next up is the palette I would pick for a girl's night. When was the last time I went on a girl's night? I am sad to say it was probably like six years ago with my sisters that we officially like went out on the town to dinner and a movie. We should do that more often, sisters, if you're watching. But the palette that I would pick for this is the Huda Beauty Nude Light Palette. Now, I almost picked the Blush Crush Palette from ColourPop because that's another one that is very girly and glamorous but soft at the same time. But I decided to go with this one because I just think this gives you a little bit more like glam, a little bit more sparkle. I love the shimmers in this palette. They are so beautiful. I love all of them. This shade right here specifically, it's kind of like a duo chrome that has this like almost like a blue, gold, peach, pink, and purple reflect to it. It's really beautiful and very, very unique. And then you get some really fun soft neutrals in here. This shade right here actually works really well for deepening out the outer corner just enough. The eye looks I create with this, I always love. They're just really beautiful. They're sparkly, but they're not over the top and definitely very girly and feminine. This is just the perfect palette, in my opinion, for a girl's night out. And one that I feel very girly when I use this palette. It's just really fun. Next on the list is the palette I would pick for a vacation. This is kind of a tough question or category, if you will, because are we talking like a real life vacation, like the types of vacations that I've gone on over the last couple years? So my answer would be different if we were talking like road trip camping or if we were talking like dream vacation to Hawaii. Let's go ahead and go with dream vacation to Hawaii. And the one that I just went with is the Alomar Cosmetics Reina del Caribe palette. I love this palette. I mean, it looks like a vacation. The colors in here are so beautiful. So many perfect neutrals, two perfect lid shades, a couple of pops of color, and some fantastic mattes. I don't even know if this palette is still available. In fact, I don't even know if this brand is still available, but I really love this palette. I've loved it for a long time, and I still love reaching for this one. It's also a palette 
palette that I do travel with quite often because I just love the eye looks I get out of this. These two lid shades right here are two of my favorites in my collection. You get this perfect kind of shell pink right here and this greeny gold that is so pretty on the lid. These four mattes are the perfect depth, the perfect tone. The looks that I create with this palette always look special, but not over the top. They are just right for a vacation. The only downside to selecting this palette is it does not include a mirror and that's kind of a major downside. If you're traveling and you need a mirror, which I often do need a mirror, if I'm trying to do my makeup maybe by a window for the natural light, I definitely will need a mirror, but maybe I could take like my Hourglass Ghost palette for the mirror. But for the eyeshadows alone, for today, for my dream vacation, I'm gonna go with the Alamar Cosmetics palette. Let's talk about the palette I would pick for graduation. I graduated college in 2005. Let's not even go there for high school graduation. My point is it has been a while, but that said, I do have a son that will be graduating high school quite soon. He's a junior this year, so his high school graduation is literally around the corner for me. So I'm going to take this in a different direction and apply it to the eyeshadows I would wear at my son's high school graduation. Knowing that I'm going to be a hot mess and feeling all these different emotions, I'm going to need some eyeshadows that can comfort me. And what better to comfort me than my Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes? And I picked these two specifically because I couldn't decide between the two. The Magic Mini, which is one of the most joyful palettes that I own. This is such a fun palette to play with. It always puts me in a better mood when I play with this thing. Very fun. Fun, very unique shades inside here. Some really beautiful, soft, colorful looks you can get out of this one. But also knowing that if I'm going to my son's graduation, I'll likely want to wear some more neutral shades. So I picked my Nubian 2 palette to go along with it because this has so many good staple neutrals in it. So these are the palettes I would pick to get me through that monumentous event. Honestly, you guys, terrifying stuff. Next, we have the palette I would pick for Christmas Day. The day after Christmas Eve and as a mom to four kids, like putting Christmas together Christmas Eve, I am out of it on Christmas Day. <laughs> I am sleeping, vegging all day long and hopefully my newest set of jammies or slippers. So I'm thinking more Christmas Eve because we do have a family Christmas party on Christmas Eve. And the one that I picked is the Artemis palette by Alter Ego. This is meant to be a dupe for the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. I love this palette. There are some beautiful greens and golds in here that I think are perfect for a Christmas Eve look. There's even this lovely red. You get these like green till shades that are so, so pretty. I mean, look at that shade. That's like the perfect evergreen kind of Christmassy color that just gets me in the mood for Christmas. Such a fun palette. I mentioned this palette in my fall palette recommendations video because it just has that fall into Christmassy winter kind of vibes and I am definitely one to go like traditional and classic Christmas colors when it comes to my holiday makeup. I may not wear a forest green eye very often but at Christmas time you had best believe that I will be wearing shades like this on my eyes. Next is the eyeshadows I would pick for a birthday party and I'm thinking of like my birthday. I live very close to a lot of my family members, so we have a lot of birthday parties, like a lot of casual family birthday parties, but I don't usually get very glammed up for those, but for my own birthday party, I definitely will get glammed up, and I knew exactly what I wanted to pick for this one. I went with my Sydney Grace singles. I've got a lot of them now, and I'm still looking to collect the rest of them. I would love to own every single Sydney Grace single that exists because I just love her shadows so much. I have so much fun playing with these, coming up with different color combinations. The quality of them just cannot be beat. They are phenomenal. When I want to feel fancy, these are the eyeshadows that I reach for. This whole section right here is full of these beautiful shimmery lid shades that I just cannot say enough wonderful, wonderful things about. I mean, they are just absolutely metallic perfection. They are so pretty. Her mattes are incredible. They are perfectly pigmented, so blendable. I don't even know if my lights are doing them justice. I just love them so much. I'm talking like if there was a fire and I could only grab one thing, I would hurry and grab my Cindy Ray shadows and get out of the house. That's how much I love them. Moving on to a palette that is perfect for the office. For this one, I went with the original Persona Identity palette. There are a couple of reasons I think this is a perfect office palette. Number one, it is full of neutrals, which are perfect for the office, but this palette has such good range from light to dark. You can get any level of depth out of this palette that you would need. The formula is amazing. I talk often about Persona's formula, one of the best in my collection. And I especially think her shimmer formula, it's very office appropriate. It's very, very reflective, but it also has kind of a smooth quality to it that makes it a little less intense or in your face is say my Sydney Gray shadows. Let me just swatch a couple of them for you. Honestly, her shimmer formula is one of my very favorites because it's just so perfect. It's very reflective, but it also has 
such a smooth quality to it that is especially good if you have more mature eyelids. I know I've said that many times, but I'm telling you guys, these are just so, so incredible. Really a fantastic palette. You get a lot of neutral tones in here. Nothing is overly warm or overly cool, but you also get some variety with this purple and this orange and the basic browns, a cool tone and a warmer tone transition brown. Perfect for the office for any look you want to create where you want to look nice and polished and put together, but you don't want anything too over the top. This is a great palette for that. Next up is the palette I would pick for every day or for running errands. For this one, I went with the ColourPop Going Coconuts palette. This is one of the palettes that I often will grab for when I'm just wanting to throw something on and not think much about it. Very basic, very simple, very neutral, but perfectly done. I don't have to think much about my eye look. This is the type of palette I can pull for when say that I'm like catching up on YouTube videos or maybe a Netflix series or a podcast or something while I'm doing my makeup and I don't wanna be thinking about my makeup but maybe thinking about something else. This is the palette that is so perfect for that because any way you pair things together in this, you come out with just a perfectly done and completed look that's not over the top, that's perfect for every day, and you can literally get an eye look done with this palette in about eight seconds. Just a very quick and easy palette. Last up, the palette I would pick for New Year's. This one, I have to be honest and say that I don't know the last time I've actually stayed awake until the clock struck midnight on New Year's. I know that is really sad and depressing. I am an early riser. I know I've talked about this before, but I do not like forcing myself to stay awake later than my body wants to stay awake. And the days that I felt obligated to stay awake till midnight, even on New Year's Eve, are long gone. But that said, if I did have a fancy New Year's Eve party to go to or I wanted to get dressed up on New Year's Eve, the palette I picked for this one is the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. Thought about picking the Sultry palette for this one as well because it is very glitzy and glamorous and sparkly and beautiful. But I decided to go with this one because it just is so fun. And New Year's Eve should be fun, even for those of us that don't stay awake till midnight, as I already mentioned. I love these palettes. They are so great. Both this one and the other one I have, which is the Love Signs Zodiac palette. But this is the one I would pick for New Year's Eve because it's a little bit more silvery and cool tone. There are some silvery blues in here. So many beautiful reflective shades in this palette. I love the BH Cosmetics baked shimmer formula. I don't feel like it gets talked about enough. It is one of my favorites. Very reflective, but it's also very smoothing in a way. I also love the mattes in here. I love that you get a good variety. You get some browns, you get some cool tones, you even get some like khaki greens and some fun purples. And I'm telling you guys, when you use these wet, they are next level. Let's just do a little experiment here. I'm going to take this silver right here, which is such a pretty blue silver, the Gemini, co Gemini color. So I'm going to swatch it dry right here for you guys beautiful, even dry. I mean, look at that. That is so stunning. So I actually like getting my finger a little bit wet first. Not too wet. Look at that metallic, glorious, gloriousness. That is so pretty. It's liquefied metal. And not only that, I feel like the packaging of this palette is just very New Year's appropriate with kind of the Zodiac theme. I mean, it almost looks like a firework. I know that's not what it's meant to look like, but very, very fun. Now, I know some people don't like the packaging of this one because it's not very efficiently packaged. I mean, this palette is bigger than my head, but I don't mind it. I think it's actually kind of cute, and I just have so much fun playing with this palette. It is perfect for New Year's. And with that, you guys, those are all the palettes that I would pick for the different occasions in my life. That is it for the eyeshadow wardrobe tag. This was so much fun. I had so much fun going through my collection and picking out different palettes for each of these situations or hypothetical situations in my life. I hope that you guys had fun watching it. I would love to hear any of your answers. If you have a specific answer that maybe differed from my own or maybe was the same as mine, let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you are not yet subscribed, I hope that you will consider doing that before you leave. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay, that was a dumb. Oh, Mandy. Bo Bandy. Banana fan of Bo Bandy. Because we do do a fa We do do. I love when I say that. Never gets old. I have a son that's very literal. Like when you say something, you say, I'll be ready in just a minute. And he's like, it's been 60 seconds, mom. And you're like, come on, buddy. It's just, it's a phrase. Like it doesn't literally mean 60 seconds. He does this with everything. Hey. Maybe so I can have noodles. Noodles? What noodles? Or what noodles are you trying to get? The one in the box.